Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video reviewing the Blue Cuban Ice Cream Sandwich ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. I will link to that in the description. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So right away, I do want to give a shout out to the developer Rugilis22. Uh, Big shout out to him. If you guys are familiar with his work, he uh, is a, a great developer. He does a really nice job theming things as well. So um, anyway, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, right away, you'll see um, you, you've got a, a different kind of launcher. Everything will be bare right after you flash it. The reason being, I mean, you can just customize it how you want it. As you can see, I started adding um, icons down to the dock here. Uh, but nothing on the home screen yet. I'll get to that in a sec. But this is Apex Launcher. Um, it's actually a themed Apex Launcher, as you can tell. And it's with a vertical app drawer, as you can see. So it does not have the horizontal side-to-side -side app drawer. Obviously, you can install any kind of apps that you want, um, launcher replacement apps. But right away, that uh, has that there. Obviously, five docks down at the bottom, one being the app drawer button. Uh, but let's go ahead and go into settings. Uh, as you can see, Apex settings, that is because we are in a basically tweaked Apex Launcher. Let's go into System Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone, and under About Phone, we will see here, um, we will see that it's Android version 4.0.3, Rugilis 22, the Blue Cube, and FD24. So it's an FD24 based ROM, could be potentially updated in the future, but as of right now, it's FD24, Android 4.0.3. So you do know that you are running that ROM. Uh, otherwise, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, as you can see, definitely uh, themed up at the top here. Let's go ahead and check out the status bar. So, um, obviously a little different icon here. Let me load up the browser so you can see what it lights up like the 3G icon anyways when it runs. It looks like it lights up blue, so nice blue there. Uh, my battery is pretty low, but my guess is the battery icon will be blue, but it looks like stock six signal bars going on here so uh, basically stock signal bars but you'll also notice there's no clock so there's no clock up there but there is a way to get it back i'll get to that in a sec go ahead and swipe down as you can see blue cuban right there you got uh wi-fi bluetooth gps silent mode 4g there so obviously you've got all your tweaks you also got a little added settings button so you can go straight into settings there which is nice uh, obviously if you're familiar with ice cream sandwich stock ice cream sandwich it comes with that but otherwise as you can see you got a nice little android guy um it is transparent in the notification bar it is a little tinted darker but it is transparent as well so um overall very very nice uh nicely themed notification bar there i do like that a lot um things light up blue when you select them so if i turn on gps they it lights up blue uh, but anyways let's go ahead and go into my app drawer um obviously you have a bunch of icons themed. Um, as I said, he's a, a great themer as well. So um, you'll see it's got a nice background to it. Uh, if I go into calculator, I'm sure that's themed. It is. So you, you'll see that uh, a lot of different things are themed, especially the icons, of course, but even the apps itself are themed. So I mean, if I go into my calendar, as you can see, it's uh, got a dark look to it. Camera, as you can see, it's got a dark look to it as well. So overall, as I said, I mean, it, it definitely has very nice theming to it. Nice blue look to it. Um, I know that's a very popular color for everyone, but let's go into settings. Uh, under settings, as you can see right here, you got also very, very nice colors to it. Nice black background, blue over scroll glow. So, I mean, nice theming um, there as well. No complaints at all. Uh, one little thing under settings you'll notice is that it's got a ROM updater spot right here which probably not a lot of you are familiar with but anyways um it is the blue cuban rom updater that has come with this rom so very awesome of him to include this basically what you can do is update your rom on the fly as you can see you got rom there uh what you can do is as you can see it'll it'll actually check for an update so you can check for rom update you can also you have modifications which is where i uh wanted to get to um as you can see you can add buttons you can add a flashlight and camera button to the notification pull down bar you can add buttons uh, with clock. Um, you can put the clock back. So there you have it right there. Puts the clock back on the status bar. So just download that. Uh, I believe it takes you back into recovery and you can just install it. Um, don't have to wipe anything, just install. Uh, Galaxy Nexus screen click sounds, stock sounds as well. Uh, you click on it and it downloads it. I believe the mods all are to be flashed within your recovery. 
I highly recommend if you do want to download any of these that you do so over Wi-Fi, but I mean you can potentially over 3G. So if I wanted to download a mod, let's say I want to get my clock back, so let's go ahead and hit put clock back. As you can see I'm on 3G, I don't recommend doing so as the download is could potentially become corrupted. Um, but it, you'll see that it is downloading, um, it's going. So I'm gonna let it download. I kinda wanna do a little test for you guys so you guys can see what needs to be done. So I'm gonna try and put the clock back, of course, um, which is something I wanna do anyways with my ROM. I do like to have the clock up there, so let's go ahead and see what happens. So it, let's, it says it's downloaded, so I don't know if it's gonna automatically reboot me, but it says, uh, do you want to reboot in recovery? So yeah, um, we can hit OK. It'll reboot me into recovery. You can hit cancel or reboot and install. So let's hit reboot and install. What it should do is I'm going to allow it super user uh, access. What it should do is take me back into my recovery and automatically install it since I hit reboot and install. Um, I could have hit OK and it could have just taken me back into my recovery and I could have manually installed it, but let's see. So install complete and it looks like it's automatically rebooting my device as well. So that is pretty cool. That's actually very awesome. So let's go ahead and let it boot up. My guess is it'll take a little bit longer since it probably did a little bit of wiping through the script, but I'll be back once it booted back up. All right, check that out. Right up there, got a nice clock. So boot it back up and it is perfect. Uh, as you can see, I did download that over 3G. So I mean, potentially you could not have any issues, but I just recommend to everyone over Wi-Fi or 4G. Uh, but there you have it. Uh, otherwise, bugs-wise, um, pretty much none. You don't have to worry about bugs at all. Um, I mean, this ROM feels very fast, very snappy. It's definitely one of my top ROMs right now. Um, does have the hotspot hack, as you can see, just going to hotspot there. Uh, it has the uh, it removes Sprint Proxy by default, so your 3G should be at its max potential. Um, one other thing that I do like about this, it has my favorite lock screen. It's very cool. So let's go ahead and check it out. So as you can see, you got a nice little Android guy there. And uh, as you can see, you got a nice ripple effect behind him. And when you tap on him, he uh, basically spreads his arms out. But it's basically the stock ice cream sandwich lock screen. So you got camera shortcut and an unlock shortcut. But you got a little Android guy going on there. So nice work there. Uh, go straight to camera or go to unlock and you unlock it. So, But overall, everything feels extremely fast. Nice transition animations. You got rotation animations. This ROM is the real deal, I really like it. So if I go back into settings, go back into that ROM updater, I mean, I kinda wanna go through a couple more things. Obviously you saw it in action, but I just uh, wanted to kinda go over some things. You got some add-ons, let's go ahead and check those out. So you can uh, basically add your TouchWiz launcher, voice recorder, visual voicemail, digital clock, dual clock, so you got add-ons there. You got apps, inverted apps, uh, kernels, fixes, and some settings there. So I kinda wanna just run through that uh, real quick. Overall though, great, great ROM so far. I've had no issues, everything has been fast, everything, um, there's some GPS tweaks, everything should work just great. You have their CRT screen off animation. You can obviously pull down the uh, notification bar there. Uh, but with Apex Launcher, I believe you can make groups. So drop an app on top of each other, of course, and we got a nice group going on there, of course. So press and hold the home screen and you can add a widget as well if you didn't know about that. So you got some widgets there. Let's add power saving. So there you have it. Got a nice pow uh, themed power saving widget going on there. Uh, other things I want to go over is the browser. So let's go ahead and go over the browser. It looks like my 4G is actually connected. That's like a first. Um, but I loaded up Google.com. Has the stock ice cream sandwich browser. As you can see, nice tabbed browsing. I accidentally swiped away that tab. But there you have it there, um, just load it back up. As you can see, you can go up and down, you can swipe them away and exit out of them. Press and hold your home button. You got a recent apps running apps list, but it is tweaked. So here you have it, recent apps here. As you can see, I only have three, but it is horizontal. So normally an ice cream sandwich should be vertical. This would be, I believe, sense is like this. Um, you can swipe them up or down and it kind of gets rid of them. So, or you can tap them to go into them. So if I want to go back in the browser, I just tap on it. Brings me right back to the browser. As you can see, everything is very fast and snappy as well. I do want to point that out. Uh, this ROM feels great. So um, let's go ahead and go into the dialer as well. Let's make a test call. Just because some of you guys like to see the call screen and call screen, nice themed call screen as well. I can go ahead and hit end call just uh, for the heck of it. So I ended call, but nice theme dialer, dark blue. Um, it, it looks really great. Um, I, I mean, I, I keep saying all this stuff looks great. Theme messaging uh, 
icon and uh, as well as basically application. So it is different. Nice themed keyboard, black and blue here. So if I wanted to text Google for 66453, enter a message. Let's go ahead and say, hey, Google, and send it. Let's go ahead and check it out. As you can see, nice themed application here going on. And there you have it, sent to Hey Google. And uh, they should send back, obviously. Down at the dock bar, you can swipe and add uh, different ones. Google seemed to text me back. There you have it. So Google sent me a nice text message on back. Uh, but there's the nice theming there for the messaging application. And that's really about all I wanted to go over. I'm sure there's more things you'll find to be pleased with. So be sure to make sure you check out if there's something missing. Be sure to check out that ROM updater as you can add different things and such, of course. So overall, though, it's great. Um, uh, haptic feedback's off by default. Just go into sound and check. Uh, I believe haptic feed, I think vibrate on screen tap and that should turn it on, it did. So make sure you go into the sound settings if you wanna turn your haptic feedback back on in case uh, you guys are like, why isn't it working for me? That is why uh, you gotta turn your haptic feedback back on. But that is pretty much it, everything I wanted to go over. So overall, really awesome. I definitely like the, obviously, recent apps, running apps list going on here, the nice theme to it. I do like this theme a lot. It's not too much. It's a nice dark look to it, which should help conserve battery. Uh, from what I hear, battery life is good as well. Um, nice themed application. So overall, a really, really nice ROM. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.